Namaste kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. I'm Intuitive Flow. If you are new, if you're returning, welcome back spiritual family. Um, this is going to be a late night reading. It's going to be an energy check for the collective. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves, loving yourselves, honoring yourselves and those around you. And you already know, before we hop into this beautiful reading, please make sure you like the video because what does it do? <laughs> it helps the channel grow. It keeps me in rotation with other beautiful, amazing, gifted readers here on YouTube. And it also assists with the algorithm, okay? Now, if you feel you simply resonate with me as a reader, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and um, hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload or go live, okay? Um, lastly, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can email me at divinelighttarot at gmail.com or you can simply shoot me a text. Super simple, super easy. It's not difficult. Um, I do respond within 24 hours, sometimes sooner. Um, and yeah, what else? I think that's it. So let's hop in. I was guided to do a reading because I was picking up on collective energy as it pertains to fear and the way fear can fear can hold you back or hold us back and truthfully fear is for you to push forward that is of course, most of us know false evidence appearing real. And because that is facts, then we should be able to push through that false evidence. That should give us the strength, the momentum, the motivation, the inspiration to really move forward and prove to ourselves that whatever it is that we feel we're in fear of, is just a figment of our imagination. It is not real. And so I was guided to pull out the energy deck and the surrender deck, and we might hop into the um, spirit animal deck. But for sure, we're gonna get some energy and we're gonna look into what you need to release, okay? All right, and again, this is, a collective reading, so all signs, all placements. Um, remember, this is general, okay? Um, it's always best, I feel, to get a personal session because then the reading is specific to you in your situation. Okay, we have the community card coming out. Very significant, the number seven. I definitely do feel like being around people and individuals who have the same vision as, as you or see things the same as you see them as it pertains to moving forward towards your path, towards a goal, um, a mission. Doesn't matter what it is. It, it could be in love. It could be in marriage. It could be in a job, a career. Um, a reconciliation even, but this is more so speaking about things that you may be in fear of moving towards that you know God is calling you to do. You know that is the door to your next level of success. And there could be people that you are, you know, entertaining that could 
play a part in the stagnated energy that some of you may have found yourselves in. Um, a soul tribe, very important. Um, also, making sure you have things for yourself that assist you in self-care and health care, okay? Yoga, um, acupuncture, a chiropractor, spiritual advisor, primary care physician, um, a therapist, things that assist you in making sure you are well balanced as it pertains to your spiritual and physical well-being. The number seven to me can also speak about um, options. It can also speak about uh, setting strict boundaries. Uh, so with the community card, this always gives me the three of cups. All right. Boom. The three of cups with the three young ladies here. Um, I'm just going to be honest. There's going to be <clears throat> one out of these three that needs to be removed. Or you're going to gain three new soul sisters or brothers here. It's also giving me like the energy of like a glam squad even. Making sure that like there's there's like a balance here like someone is very stable in their root chakra energy and then we have sacral and we have crown chakra energy here there's an energy around building a fruitful friendship circle but it has to be in the most highest vibration because this will assist you in aiding you moving forward because the people that you're around, they play a very, very, very significant part in your growth and your success. And if people around you are not doing that, then it's time to remove yourself, just period. I'm also getting here, it's really time to stop going to meaningless events. Um... I'm not going to lie, I did just pick up on like a girl's trip. Um, you know, that situation in, uh, with uh, Shanquilla Robinson is just so devastating. It's a tragedy. And it's really significant that her energy is coming through because the Three of Cups speaks, or the community card, Three of Cups, it speaks of friendship. And really taking those type of connections very seriously. Friendships are just as important as romantic connections and connections with family members. It's just that important, if not even more, because some people confide more in their friends than they do their lover. And I just heard that has to stop too. Let's get one more Holy Spirit, please. Okay. Rest and rejuvenate. Okay. With attachment here, the number five. Yeah. 
a lot of you guys, it definitely is time to detach from someone. Um, someone who could have possibly been draining your energy. And remember when I picked up on one individual needing to be released? Um, I feel like it's this individual. There's someone who has a codependency to you or you to them. But the attachment that I'm picking up on is very unhealthy. It's like someone wishes they were you or thinks they're you. It's a very unsettling energy I'm getting with this card. The number 19 breaks down to 10, which ultimately is the number one. So I feel like a lot of you guys, your energy right now, and I would say in the next 24 to 48 hours, is needing to get some rest. Maybe take some time away from community. Um, it's time to reset, revive. reevaluate some things it's, it's definitely getting um going within really really sitting with yourself sitting with source collecting those downloads that you need in order to make the proper decisions because there's definitely a new beginning here and i feel like it's going to be pretty big it's going to be pretty major and it's going to be very significant for you to have that inner peace and that stability within to ground yourself with all this action and forward movement and collaboration and just energy coming towards you. There's a lot ahead of you and Source wants you to be prepared Source wants you to be ready. Source wants you to be energized and not feeling tired or drained or feeling like you're just giving too much of yourself. It's time to like just truly just sit with you. Take some time off. Maybe some of you guys need to take some time off of work. Yeah, I'm hearing if some of you guys have PTO or sick time, our vacation time right now is the perfect time to use that here let's see let's get more here on this community here okay, okay we're at 13 minutes i don't want this to be too long i'm actually about to Take my butt to sleep after I do a few more things. Talk to me, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Universe Source, about this community card. Give me more for the collective, please. The hermit mm -hmm. pretty much just confirm what i what i just said in regards to the rest and rejuvenation like is is there's a need to pull back from so much external energy and it's time to do some introspecting and going within and Preparing yourself for a new path, a new journey, a new level. Um, there's something very significant that's going to be illuminated for you. Uh, some of you guys may be confused about a path that you're taking or that you're considering. And I feel like there's going to be like an illumination over what it is you've already been you know praying to god about meditating about asking for answers 
excuse me, um, you're going to get your answer as you turn inward. Uh, the King of Cups is here. Some of you guys could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Virgo. Um, but emotional intelligence is coming through very strongly. And I feel like it has to do with the emotions that you exude towards those that you love, those you care about, those that you want to see thrive and succeed in life. Um, it's just simply time to give that energy to you right now. Not to say it's forever. And those who truly love you and rock with you and understand you, they'll understand that. They won't look at you as acting funny or being selfish or feeling like, you know, you're not fucking with them no more. Because I'm getting a strong energy. If that is the case, you're going to be mature enough and woman or man enough to let that person know that that's what it is. You know? Like, I can't rock with you no more. I'm hearing that total. I can't rock with you no more. And I see you guys kind of going inward about that with the King of Cups and the Hermit. You want accurate answers in regards to who this person is or these individuals are that are no longer serving you or that aren't supposed to be present, you know, in their next level. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Strength card. Some of you, find, some of you may find it hard to do this, but that's why going within and meditating and praying will give you the strength you need to face these situations head on. Okay? Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands. This is going to be for some of you, not all, but... You'll know who this is that you need to release by the way they react when you when you tell them this. Some of you guys may be asking someone to move out. Someone could have be could have been staying with you or is staying with you and it's just it, it isn't working anymore. There's someone around you in your immediate energy or circle who is very stagnant, they're stuck, they're not making any moves here, they're not planning for a success, and this is bothering a lot of you, okay? I'm picking up on energy like you feel uncomfortable in your own home. Yeah, some of you guys don't even feel safe. Um, what is this uh, King of Cups? Tell me more about the King of Cups. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. And of course, once you once you go within, once you do a self um a self-evaluation, you do some analyzing in regards to the people who you want to, you know, move forward with you for this new opportunity. I feel like the person who's presenting you an offer will be the one to assist you with gaining new like-minded individuals. This could be someone younger than you or just a younger earth sign. There's a huge energy around releasing. Okay. Releasing in order for this this offer to come in. Give me one more here. We're gonna get what you need to release. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Okay, and, and you're gonna gain clarity from whoever's offering you this pentacle. They're coming with truth, clarity, understanding, and 
a lot of wisdom. They might be young. I just heard, but they might be young, but they ready. Yeah. This is a fiery individual um, who has a lot to offer. It may, it may seem light, but it's heavy though. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. This nine of swords is, is a shadow energy. So again, let's get what you need to release here. As it pertains to this energy. Some of you guys, I'm also picking up on energy of a pregnancy or finding out you're pregnant. Um, some of you guys may be pregnant with twins. I see a conversation needing to be had with a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this could be bothering you. Uh, this could be causing you some type of stress. Okay, Holy Divine Spirit. What does the collective need to release here as it pertains to this energy? What needs to be released for a smooth incoming of this offer? Surrender to your desire. Surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more, effective, to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room all right so some of you guys definitely could be uh battling with the fact that um there's something that you may not be in control of anymore or you're losing control of but source is saying surrender to divine timing okay honestly the things you don't have control of you give that over to god and you focus on the things that you can control. That's what makes life that much easier. It's knowing that God is there for us to surrender those things that we can't control because that's then where this anxiety comes from. Worrying, you know, crying, panicking, okay, feeling bad, feeling good, feeling in distress. You know, it's, it's, it's so many emotions that you go through when you focus solely on what you can't control instead of giving that over to source God universe and trust divine timing. And as you're, you're, as you're trusting divine timing, you're still moving forward towards success, towards opportunities, towards offers that God also has aligned for you on this journey. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck here. Don't get stuck there, okay? Give me more for the rest and rejuvenate. Wow. Queen of Cups. So beautiful. So the King and Queen of Cups is here. I definitely see that you are connecting with someone. This is a lover. Oh, look. Nine of Pentacles with the Sun card. So you're dating. You're dating. You're okay. So the reason why I say you're dating, for some of you, some of you might be just single, but I said you're dating. I didn't say you're in a relationship, but there's someone that you're significantly interested in that you have been wanting to move forward with. And this is something you feel you may need to really go with it about, really think about, because I'm picking up on the energy that you've been single for a significant amount of time and you've been happy there. You've been happy there. Single, sexy, and free, living your best fucking life, traveling, seeing the world, trying new things, eating new food, going on dates, getting spoiled, spoiling yourself. I mean, it's just like you're good, but I see with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here, you're meeting, you're meeting someone who is a positive reflection to your higher self. This is somebody you may connect with um, telepathically, or you guys meet in the realms, 4D, 5D, like you feel this person's energy when you're meditating or you're in a 
in a trance or you're in a, you know, a meditative state. It doesn't have to be actually meditating, but in your sleep, um, you know, when you're just relaxing in your tub or at home, this person randomly crosses your mind frequently. Any more for the Queen of Cups? Period. Ten of Cups. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. A lot of you are going to find that the more rest you get, the more rejuvenated you feel, the more you take the time to pour into yourself, to fill yourself up, to make sure you're good and you're at your highest peak, the more the universe just provides for you. It's like it's going to get to that point to where you don't even really have to do much to attract exactly what it is that you want and you know you deserve. There's energy around just being a genuine, a genuine and vibrant soul effortlessly. Also, um, there's the there's children here. There's a happy couple here kind of looking out into the horizon, um, re re embracing all that they've accomplished together and being joyous in the moment here. It's just like two becoming one and creating a beautiful life for themselves. The world card is here. So a beautiful happy successful completion here this energy is pretty exceptional this is what some of you guys i just heard may be in fear of there's judgment what are you what are you, what are you so afraid of? <laughs> Darling, you, you give, but you cannot take love. <laughs> Let's see what you need to surrender in order to seamlessly let this in. This is answering your inner desires, answering to the callings, hearing the trumpet, hearing that, hearing the calling of source, and you're this is you answering that calling. This is you answering the calling here. <laughs> and then Interesting enough, <laughs> we have surrendered to the wisdom of your body, which I basically just explained how going within into this rest and rejuvenated energy, being in a meditative state more often than not, making sure you're pouring into yourself loving yourself, honoring, surrender to the wisdom of your body, all right, and it says, listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Ashe, oh my goodness, I love this. I want you guys to see that. So beautiful. And she looks so peaceful in this card. It's kind of, oh my gosh. Didn't I tell y'all you connect with this person when you meditate? This is, <laughs> thank you, Source. Thank you so much for confirming my message. Now look at this. 
Look at this energy. I need y'all to see that. It's like they're both in the same exact position doing the same exact thing. This is you and your person connecting. And I have to bring out the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And then we can close it out. Just period. This is just beautiful. King and Queen of Cups. Honoring each other in the physical. King and Queen. Honoring themselves and each other. In the spiritual realm. This is just beautiful. I really wish I could. I hope y'all can see. It's the reflection of my life. But I got really like emotional when I seen the card. Wow. This is a beautiful potent energy right here. <sighs> okay. Well, that's what I have for you, Collective. I truly, truly hope this message help someone it assists you with moving forward and just knowing that all is well all is well make sure you like up on the video um and leave a comment um i believe too if you resonated with the message and you feel guided to give a tip they have the super thanks and you're always welcome to go ahead and show your girl some love there. All right. I'll check y'all out on the next one.